How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mazimoto. Today's the day that I start to uh, assemble my shovel head project. Mike's is uh, right next to me here. He painted it. Go check out his video on his channel, Mazimoto Mike. I'll have the link in the description below. But um, I'm going to start my project today. And it's going to be a lot of fun. What do you think, Mike? I'm super stoked to see you get going on it. Everybody check out, I think you guys already saw it. I, I showed it on my channel, his uh, reproduction wishbone frame. Yeah, so I got a repop wishbone frame just cause for the price that I could get this, I was gonna get like a pretty wonky old frame. So you got a wonky new frame. So I got a wonky new frame. No, that's cool. But yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this whole frame, take the trans out, take the motor out and put it in this frame and uh, then assemble a roller hopefully by the end of the day and uh, see how it looks. Do you know what you're gonna do for paint? Um, I have some ideas brewing in my head. Nice. But I don't wanna give anything up. Okay, but you're pretty <laughs> certain you know what you're gonna do? I think so, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, let's get started. trans is completely unbolted from this frame as you can probably see it moves around a little bit so let's go ahead and uh, transfer this mo or this frame over to the lift and we can throw the motor and the trans in here so let's do it That was a lot of work, <laughs> not really, but here it is. I got the uh, trans in and the motor in. It's the old frame. If anybody wants this frame, it's up for sale. Hell yeah, so let's just bolt in the uh, trans and then we can start mocking stuff up.
It doesn't look bad. So this is what it's looking like with the Springer on it. I'm probably not going to be running the Springer. But I just wanted to mock it up and see what it would look like. Looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to run a 33.4 instead. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I've been going back and forth on whether or not I should do a high shoulder 18 rear wheel with the Star Hub or not. Um, and I have this mechanical brake set up rear, and this bike comes with, uh, or this frame, comes with the whole mechanical brake set up already, as well as the crossover tube. And I just got a few linkages at the swap meet for all that stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and steal these spokes from this mid-star wheel and lace it up to an 18-inch high shoulder um, with the star hub. Uh, so bear with me, this is going to take quite some time. So there's the Midstar hub, it's all apart. And uh, here's the Star hub. And then I'm gonna be using this mechanical drum right here. It fits on there real nice. It's gonna be a good look. So let's go ahead and uh, get this. Spoked up to a uh, 18 high shoulder aluminum rim. Right here is the high shoulder wheel. Let's get to lacing. Okay, a lot has happened since the last time I filmed. I went ahead and uh, assembled the whole front end. Still needs a few pieces. And I uh, actually laced this hamburger hub to a high shoulder 21 rim that I had lying around. And then put these bars that were on the pan head on there with uh, some nice risers that I've been hoarding. Put the sporty tank on for now just to see what it looks like solo seat p pad wassel rear fender and then i laced up this uh star hub to at first i thought the original wheel that i unlaced to take the spokes from i thought it was an 18 but i later found out it was a 19. so i just went ahead and laced it to a 19 inch uh high shoulder rim that came off the of sportster I think it looks pretty cool. The stance is pretty sweet. Let me know what you think. I might do like a Hap Jones tank or a Wassel tank. We'll see. I'm excited to see the tires on it because that'll give it a different look. And uh, yeah, you can see how a sissy bar looks on here. It's kind of weird because the tins are crusty, but the seat is really nice. So, that might be all for me tonight. 
Um, I wanted to at least get cracking on this project so I can make some progress here and there. I've had all the parts for quite some time, so let me know what you think. Um, can I show your bike, Mike? Yeah, yeah. All right, here's Mike's bike. It's looking pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to be switching out that headlight, um, molding the rear fender right now. We'll be making a sissy bar that kind of goes through that fender, so I'm not going to paint it until the very end. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just eating my McDonald's over here. I'm yes, you are. Selling Hondas. So, that's how the two projects are coming along. My video won't be up for a couple weeks. Yours is probably going to be up. <laughs> yeah, like, by the time you guys see this, hopefully my bike is done. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll keep you updated. Um, went horribly wrong. <laughs> hopefully nothing went wrong. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because they're very similar bikes once your motor and trans are in. It's going to be very similar. I don't know. I think the frame is really going to make them... But that's what I mean is like... Different. And also look at your front end, man. Right, that's what I'm saying is like yours is a little more modern yeah. version of mine, you know? Because right. yeah, I got everything. Star got Hub and... Strong. No, it's mechanical. Oh, that's mechanical. Yeah, I went with the mechanical. Even Swap meat find. You want to lace up that uh, knucklehead front trunk? <clears throat> really old school? Yes. <laughs> I won't say no. <laughs> I have a whole uh, axle. A 21 rim up there for you. I've got a whole axle kit for it as well. Shoot. So, I almost put the Springer on this, and I think I might have showed you, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, I'm serious, I'll sell that to you if you want to. How much? Let me turn this camera off. No, let him, let him see. <laughs> so we're gonna negotiate <laughs> off camera. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, just in case I don't add to this video, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content because we're making a bunch, obviously. Um, and go check out Mike's channel for his bike update. Uh, Mazimoto Mike, it's in the description. And uh, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys.